In addition to my inability to correctly test the yoke used in this set, and uh, apparently the flyback too, I'm also having a lot of trouble measuring the high voltage accurately. This is the meter you see me use all the time. This is a vintage Pomona, good to 36,000 volts. This always seems to read on the low side. I've restored plenty of 10 inch black and white sets that are all supposed to run on 9,000 volts. This usually shows more like around 7,000. So, since I don't have an accurate calibrated high voltage source, I'm unable really to tweak this, or I don't even know if it can be tweaked or adjusted. I don't know of any adjustment screw in this. So, in my mind, I've always just rounded up a, a bit when using that. Now, this one has the opposite problem. This one always reads high when I use it on this set. For example, I get a little over 10,000 volts. So, along um, with this Fluke 27 FM I got recently, I got some high voltage probes. This one came with it. This is good only to 6,000 volts though, so I can't use it to measure the high voltage on this set in particular because it's outside its range. So I got this big guy, which is the Fluke 80K-40, which is good to 40,000 volts. However, when I use this probe, I'm only measuring about 4,500 volts. And as I said, this one, it, they say do not use it above 6,000, so I don't want to risk damaging it or my meter or anything, so I'm not going to mess with it. So it got me thinking, well, how can I test these probes? Well, there are some other voltage points in this set that are low enough that I can measure them without this probe at all, just directly with this meter, of course, like right off the... 5U4 rectifier, it should be about uh, 290 volts, or that's rather, that's what I get when I measure it with this meter, with the standard probes, 290 volts. So if I use this guy, which divides the input by a thousand, I should get 0.29 volts. So let's give that a try. There, 0.289, close up to 0.29, so I would say this probe is working correctly. Now let's see what happens when I try this guy. Okay, I've got the big probe hooked up now and clipped to the chassis for ground. Now if I bring this over to that point. I get nothing. However, if I bring it over to the high voltage, I know that I'll get about four and a half volts or four and a half thousand volts. So what that leads me to believe is that somewhere inside this probe, something isn't making contact. And only when there's a high enough voltage to, to bridge the gap do I get a reading. So I'm going to pop this guy open and see what's going on in there. I believe it's identical to these in construction, it just doesn't have the transparent plastic. So these, you can see there's a, in this case, a 720 mega ohm resistor. They call them candy stripe resistors. So this thing going from the tip all down through here, that's a resistor. And then there'd be a smaller one somewhere down in here. And the junction of the two is what gets fed out to your meter. So in other words, it's a gigantic voltage divider. You can get the probe apart pretty easily by unscrewing the base. So here's the wires coming in. So I need to check for a break anywhere in these cables. Check that the connections here are good. And see if there's any problem inside here. Could even be just a bad connection at the tip. So it looks like this is uh, probably a thick film. Resistor, yeah. Not the kind of thing you can just buy off the shelf anymore. Hmm, I wonder if this this might be both halves of the voltage divider and in the middle is a junction. Or no, no, because both leads come out down here. So it's supposed to be both resistors somehow in here. It's like a ceramic substrate and they deposited some type of resistive material on top of it. 
Oh, don't want to mess with that too much. So one, I'm curious, how does the tip connect to that, and you know, is that making good connection, or is it arcing in there? And uh, well, it could be just be as simple as there's a, a break in the cable. I imagine they see a lot of flexing in use, especially this ground cable. Or it could be as simple as I just fixed it simply by opening it up and reseating everything and tightening it back down. I carefully removed the tip by wrapping a paper towel around it using some pliers with just enough pressure to unscrew it, which revealed inside this, which is threaded inside. That's what the tip screws down into, and on the other end, is an extension that sure looks like it's supposed to be soldered right to that. So I suspect that broke apart at some point. So I am going to re-solder that connection, slide this back inside, screw the tip on, and see if it still works. Now, I've also been very careful not to touch this surface. This is a 1000 mega ohm resistor. Any oil from my fingers could very well throw this thing off. So, I'm trying to keep it inside this tube as much as possible. I just have it out now so I can record this little video segment. I resoldered that connection, reassembled the probe, and I'm happy to say it seems to be working properly. So, I'm going to flip this chassis down and See if I can probe that high voltage now and hopefully get around 9,000 volts. Alright, let's see what this meter has to say. Going to stick the probe right in that high voltage cap there. And about 8,500 volts. And I think I can trust that value too. Which means it's still a tad low. Let's see, there's a drive control here. Makes any difference. It's kind of in the middle, I just went to one extreme. Oh yeah, 8.7. And now I'm definitely all the way what I think is max. Oh, still 8.7. Let's try going the other way. So that means that my two analog meters, that well, <laughs> the, the truth was kind of in the middle. One was a little too low, one was a little too high. Ooh, 7.75. Now they say it's supposed to be 9,000. I don't know how accurate or how close to 9,000 it really needs to be. 8.7, that's yeah, pretty close to 9,000. Remember, it doesn't exactly the stock RCA uh, flyback that's in there right now. Guess we'll know for sure when I install full size 10 BP4 CRT and see how it displays. Also, be curious when I get another set out here, uh, for example. That Admiral 3812 that I'm virtually done with, I want to get that back out on the workbench for a couple final tweaks. And while that's out here, I can measure because it's, it's also supposed to be about 9,000 volts.